Welcome back to my Let's Play for Disgaea PC version, my run through the game with the Prinny Squad. Oh wow, truly a fearsome opponent. You know, Prinnies. Ugh. I mean, if they're Prinny Gods, maybe I'd be scared, but just private Prinnies? Forget them, they're a bunch of losers. Making a foolish attempt on the throne they could never hope to hold on to? A hopeless, desperate shot that's bound to miss by a mile, but still a shot. Yeah, at least if you had her on your side, you get a boost of like 20%, you know, if you're right next to her. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's the sky too, but still. Yeah, I know, that has to be one of the worst abilities, too. Like, oh, I can buff the stats of Prinnies, one of the most useless units in the game. Yay. Might not want to say that right in front of the guy. Man, get your own ideas, Flan. You stole my bit. Yeah, it's beyond suicide, so what's your plan? Oh, I'm sure they do have a plan, but it's a terrible plan. Probably won't work. And not like the doctor's terrible plans that might not work either, you know, where it's just an insane idea. But you know he can do it because he's the doctor. Yep, baseball. Man, demon baseball is really no different from a fight, though, so, you know, let's do it. Ooh, in English, no less. And where's the audience? Yeah. We'll kill him, alright. Scotch him. Take this guy out. Sad part is, Scotch is still my strongest printy. By a mile yet. They still think they'll take him on, you know, one at a time. Like, what are you guys doing? You can't take on the master of Scotch tape by yourselves in one-on-one -on -one fights. I mean, I know he's not the strongest printy ever, but come on. Don't take me too lightly. After all, I am a master of the Prinny Barrage! I know the Prinny Miri Beam. Boom. I don't know how I got tongue tied there. Oh well, for now we just have to focus on, you know, slaughtering everyone that gets in our way. Hmm. I think we're one short. Yeah, we're gonna be one short. Eh, I can just move over one. It's fine. Let's see, you should be right there, right? Yep. And let's take you out. Well, I can see right center and mid center. Sorry, right and midfield. Center outfield, jeez. How am I getting my baseball? Turns mixed up this badly. Eh. Well, let's just take that one on. Well, I'm still too far out. Crazy. That might have been too far. Nope, just right. Doesn't seem like the outfield's too far away from the um, infield, though, here. There's gotta be a left fielder over here somewhere. With his back turned to me, no less. Who do you think you are, man? Only a corpse should have his back turned to the enemy. Well, I, I suppose it's fitting, maybe. I mean, praise are just, you know, human souls and stitched together suits, so, you know. 
Guess they are technically dead. Now I need to move over a bit more. Well, there I want to say. Oh, one short. Well, time to go through the tree, you know, like a gopher or something. Like a tree, shme. Just, just throw your attacks right through it. It's mostly air, right? Yeah, I know, that's not really true. Now we'll go heal up before we go to the Writhing Shadow. Guess we'll see if we can take him on. I mean, we gotta take on ten overlords, but I mean, come on. We're the pretty squad. We can do anything, right? Eh, not the worst evil laugh I've heard. Yeah, but he's not your opponent. I don't believe you. Because all the other overlords we meet from alternate netherworlds are level 2000 plus. So, you know. As far as overlords go, you're nothing. Are most overlords just get content after they've conquered one world, and they're just like, you know what? I'm conquered one world. I, d I don't really need any more. Like, I got plenty of minions to boss around and die from my amusement. If you're gonna do that, why did you wait till now? He's been dead for quite a while. I mean, I assume most other overlords have already heard of the former king's death, you know, made a move already if they're really interested. Yes, a fraction. That is true, but that was a pretty quick <laughs> chive response. Or gib, I guess might be a better word. Wow, a size queen in the opposite direction. Never thought I'd see that. Yes, adjustments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on, y'all know the Bushins from that technique are fake. Yeah, I know, his work like Shadow Clones. Not really. I assume means his power is split ten ways, to be honest. I wouldn't be so sure of that. This is intended to be a fight that you lose in the in the first run because this guy is level 75. Like? You think she merely likes this stuff? Exactly. She dreams about this stuff every night. And by everybody, she means the Prinny Squad. Which, let's face it, only one member of is probably going to survive more than one turn. But, you know, we can still use them to help draw and spread the damage on this initial turn. 
Okay, let's do it. Turn one, go. Yeah, I know, it's not much, but... What do you expect? There's only so much I can do with a printy. Honestly, I think their real fearsome aspect is on their SP skills. Jeez. They do like spreading the paint on the own cells, though, don't they? Just jeez. Well, let's eat an eclair. Then move into the corner. That way they can only challenge me like three at a time. Yeah, I know. We're basically letting them kill each other. But what else can I do, man? Seriously, why are you guys murdering each other so much? It defeats the purpose of the doppelganger ability if you're just gonna all murder each other. Ooh, getting a bit clever there, huh? Well, no. If they'd stop, you know, throwing such wild punches, they'd probably be doing a better job here. Oh, just a face-up physical attack? What is that guy doing? Well, no. I'll end my turn. Go on, surround me, you jerks. Okay. Fringer Beam. Come on, let's see what we got. Honestly, I think we're only going to hit him for like six, seven hundred points. If that. We actually broke a thousand there, if ever so slightly. Ooh, go Scotch. You managed to last long enough to actually turn this around. We're an alternative overlord here. Not as impressive as you need to be, man. I suppose you can still take my hits. Oh, whatever. Okay, let's finish this one off. And draw on that last fool. Ow. Well, let's see. I did bring enough, you know, items to be able to do this like a couple times, so let's go for it. Time to bring out the fringe of beam. And try and drop some pain on these fools. Well, do it again next turn. Then take an item and do it again. Because that's what you do. Come on. Fringer Beam. I mean, I guess I could try and swing for um, physical attacks to win, but... I'd only bother with that, you know, if I was sure I'd get some good punches to the back or something. Yeah, not worth it. Ow. <sighs> item. Yes, I guess I will take this protein shake. And call the turn. Because I got nothing else I can do. Well, let's end this. The only way we know how. With a Pringer Beam! Because that's the only way to end it. In style! Yeah, I probably could have busted out the Pringer Bombs, but... They might end up being resistant to fire, so... Let's go with a generic move. 
my god. They actually managed to win. <laughs> so didn't feel worth it. Well, that does it for this episode. Next time, you know, we'll head to Night Dwellers. Has to be a bit more tame than that last one, right? Poor Pre Squad. They got murdered. For the most part. <laughs> Till next time, then. See ya.